Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Franchise Hour. Today is September 9, 2021, and this is uh, episode 9 of season 4. And I'm welcoming back our guest, which we had already in the last season, but then we were talking about the franchise. Today we're talking of something very positive about the company, since they will be celebrating their 12th anniversary. And with that, uh, with no further ado, I will uh, introduce my guest for today, Mr. Ferdi Opena, co-founder of Neil Datlo. Welcome, Ferdi. Welcome back to the Franchise Hours. Good afternoon, RK, and a good afternoon to all your viewers. I'm so happy to be back here in your show. Thank you so much. So today we have a specific topic to discuss. Uh, you are 12 years in the business. So let's talk about that one. And uh, you were so kind and uh, prepared for us a little presentation which you made on how you started the whole thing 12 years ago. Together, of course, we have to mention uh, the lady behind the story as well, Miss Anna J. Uh, Opena, your wife, uh, who is, uh, of course, a driving force behind the whole thing. So uh, we welcome her also. I uh, hope she's watching us. <laughs> 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 All right, Freddie, let's do it. Uh, I put in your presentation and kindly give us the way how you reached the 12 years. Okay. Hi, RK. Good afternoon to everybody. Again, thank you for having me in your show again. Uh, for those who do not know me yet, I am Ferdi Opeña. I am the franchiser of Nils. Glow Nils and Body Spa. We have around, uh, right now, we have around 100 branches around the Philippines. And this year, we are celebrating our 12th year anniversary. Looking back down the memory lane, all is still fresh and vivid in my recollection. From where we are starting up, up to where we are today. So, RK, if it's okay with you, I'll do a... Uh, Show and tell. I show some milestone photos. Then I will tell the story behind it. Because oh. I believe that people love to listen to stories. Right? That is correct. Go ahead. Give us the okay. story. Okay. Give us the story, Ferry. First off, with me in this photo is my wife. For those who are asking, who's, who's my wife? Where? Well, there's AJ. I, just as uh, I've said before, she's the proponent of this business concept. Each of us has our own area of responsibility. Her being an accounting graduate handles the finance matters and everything else concerning the technical know-how of our services. On the other hand, me being uh, the one with the most extensive experience in sales and marketing, I handled the franchise network and the leadership program of the company. Okay, But RK, if you're going to ask me, in our house, who's the boss? Well, in the house, it's a different story. Because in the house, inside the house, I do all the major decisions and my wife do the minor decisions. Okay? Do you get it? But here's the thing. In our 21 years of being married, everything is minor. So, it's always AJ who calls the shot because he's my boss. No, just, just, I'm just kidding. So, uh, we are business partners in running Nace.glow for almost uh, 12 years right now. The mascot there in the middle is Neely. Uh, she is our official mascot. Okay. Of course, my gallery will not be complete without this photo from a famous Hollywood star who frequents our expo uh, every time we have a trade expo. He's the Simon Cowell of franchise biz industry and a true star builder. This man is an influential figure to us because he developed our franchise program 11 years ago. RK helped me build our brand, not just locally, but internationally as well. Like a big brother, RK was very patient with us, especially during our maiden years when we were befuddled with so many business issues and problems and all that. He's also a repository of information and a sort of help desk guy for us. You know, every time I need something, I, I always call RK. RK, I need the master franchise disclosure document. What's that? What the hell is that? So he helped me with that. 
And just recently, I need the co-ownership contracts so we can verge on a uh, different approach in offering our our franchise. He also has that that that, that template. He has the document. And apart from that, um, uh, also recently, I want to have a franchise advisory council, but I lack the bylaws. I I asked RK, do you have the the template for this? And in just uh at in the uh, snap of a finger, the Franchise Advisory Council bylaws is already with me. So that's how quick and how um, still relevant RK to our business is. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, in these photos, in this photo, this is, uh, these are our current office-based associates. So ito po yung aming mga employees right now. But if you will count and add all the spot personnel all over the country, we would be around uh, roughly around 500 employees. Before, we used to have majority female workforce in the office, but now we're leveling up. Male employees are now doing major roles in the company because I am the, the leadership uh, guy who orchestrated that it must also we must also have a male in our workforce okay this photo is very um still vivid in my recollection this where we were so privileged to be featured in the show of miss karen davila of abs cbn smai puhunan in 2014. it paved the way for more ofw inquiries about the franchise and it's our uh, first uh, exposure on national TV in this uh, segment of my Puhunan. So we're thankful for this opportunity. And then, of course, we want to see uh, Filipinos loves to see uh, Filipino love to see uh, celebrity endorsers. Okay? From the start, we really want to get a celebrity endorser that would best epitomize our brand qualities, the brand qualities of our brand, and is that glow, as an up-and-coming, promising, and elegantly beautiful. Well, our first official brand ambassador, where we ink our contract was with Miss Lice Soberano, I think, where we were able to invite you, RK, uh, during this time, no? And uh, we're so happy to be, to be, uh, uh, to have Lice Soberano as one of our brand ambassadors during the time where she's still an up-and-coming actress in the Philippines. Okay, in this photo, after Liza Subirano, we signed up uh, Nadine Lustre. Okay, the good thing about this is we hit two birds with one stone because that time the soap uh, on the wings of love with James Reed is a smashing hit. Uh, by the way, uh, Nadine owns her own branch of Glow. She has her own branch of uh, Nace.glow in Walter Mark, Quezon City at the sec at the fifth level of the building. So it's still there. Uh, you can visit her, her store. Okay. After Liza Soberano, because this is an aspirational marketing, no? we belong to this uh, segment of the market where we, we are advocate beauty, wellness. So another... A uh, very popular actress in the Philipp Philippines that we have recently inked with is uh, the social media queen, Alex Gonzaga. We want somebody who has some parallelism with our brand value, uh, being organic, raw, and straightforward. What you see is what you get type of endorser. Alex also owns a branch of NDG in, in Ayala Mall Police in Quezon City. This was also made possible through the help of RK franchise. They they linked us with Mami Pinti as like as uh, uh, Alex manager. So thank you RK for 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 the support and assistance. Welcome. All right. On this photo, I'm showing you are my ladies. These are our first batch of Filipina staff we sent to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia as part of our unit franchise way back then, maybe four years ago, when we had our first initial uh, unit branch there. Um, currently, they operate the franchisee there is now the master franchisee of uh, Riyadh, uh, Saudi Arabia. 
and they're hoping to have three more branches in the coming in the next two years okay so they are all all filipina cast uh, we send our our supplies there and at the same times our training and all so we're proud to see a filipino brand um, there in riyadh saudi arabia all right into 2017 uh, the Philippine Franchise Association and Department of Trade and Industry conferred to us the award of most promising Filipino franchise brand in the service category. We're so happy to receive this award because this is a major award. Okay. And with this, we joined the League of Bigger Brands in the Philippines. So thank you, PFA. And thank you to all the customers who continuously support the brand. And of course, to our dear franchises as well. And RK, of course, you're part of it. You're part of our growth and the development. Okay, this is all about we're wearing, as you can see, we're wearing a Go Negosyo Pilipinas Angat Lahat. Uh, we're selected by the team of uh, Joe Concepcion, Go Negosyo, to be part of the Mentor Me program. So there are some uh, uh, business aspirants, business owners aspirants who wants to be coached by uh, entrepreneurs like us. So we spend some time with them, coaching them on how to, to acquire a business and of course, how to sustain it and make it profitable on their part. So AJ and I had the opportunity to, to sit down with these uh, aspirants. Okay, so that's uh, the Secretary of Department of Trade and Industry, Secretary Ramon Lopez, because uh, we are really aggressive in making sure that our brands is being felt uh, uh, with uh, also with uh, the other societies here in the Philippines, business sec uh, especially in the business sectors. Then, okay, uh, one of the hallmarks that your business is operating already in a tip-top shape is when your mall partner is recognizing your efforts. Uh, most of our branches are located inside the mall, so it's in line. So the, 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 the game is really tough. So we were recognized as tenant of the year by Robinsons just in 2019 before the COVID outbreak. So we're so happy to receive this award on behalf of all uh, my employees in the office and all, the, all, all uh, of our Robinsons based uh, branches in the Philippines. So we're thankful. Hopefully we're praying, we're eyeing SM also and Ayala Mall to recognize our efforts. In terms of compliance, of course, and excellence. All right. It is every entrepreneur dream to have their own corporate head office someday. So uh, right now, uh, we are still renting a space in along uh, in Quezon City. But uh, our vision is to really have our own uh, corporate center. That's why in our vision board, we visibly wrote down the construction of a seven-story building. That will serve as our headquarters. Supposedly, we had started uh, this year, but due to the pandemic, we, we, we are taking a back seat and we are ter temporarily suspending the construction of the building. Hopefully, by next week, we can, can resume the, the construction of the building. Okay, in this photo, we have a franchise uh, speaker in our uh, CFE program. My wife and I. Are also proud completers of the CFE program. It's a globally recognized mini masters on franchise management. We're able to learn from the wisdom of well-known personalities and franchise guru from all over the world. So mostly there are foreign speakers. I, I had my, my PIN and I had my certificate uh, received in uh, AIM, Asian Institute of Management, while AJ, uh, we fly to... to to Florida in the U.S. to get her pin because this is a very uh, momentous event for her. So we uh, we we had the chance to meet with other global brand uh, founders as well. Okay, in this photo you see some uh, our employees in uh, in, uh, in an orphanage because our company has a sense of responsibility towards the community we belong. And we want to create a positive impact to our society. 
these are our two NDG care programs that we are currently in touch with. Number one is in Anawim. I don't know if, if, the, if this is the first time you hear this, but it's a home for poor and abandoned uh, elderly people. And the next one is the House of Refuge, also here near our office in Quezon City, is an orphanage. So every time, especially during the birthday of our boss, Ma'am AJ, we are there to celebrate uh, the occasion with them. Okay. One of the most anticipated uh, event we have is the franchise conference. Before, we used to have it in a hotel, in a hotel venue, where we gather all the franchises all over the Philippines for a national conference because we have branches in Visayas, Mindanao, and Luzon as well. No? We equip them with trainings from notable speakers and coaches and listen to some of the best practices. This is also the, the venue where we do the awarding of best in sales and uh, best in overall uh, performances. So ra right now, we won't be able to hold it in a, in, a, in, a, in a hotel venue, but we're going to do the virtual one tomorrow. So later on, I'll send the invitation to, to my master RK and uh, to all our dear franchisees. Okay, as the leaders of NACE.glo, as a leader of our small uh, organization, no, we are more morally responsible in making sure that our people will also learn from us. And the best way to learn, of course, is to invest on our personal growth and development. In this photo, we were able to listen to Robert Kiyosaki and brush elbows with him, okay, in, in one of the seminars in Singapore. So Robert Kiyosaki is the author of the famous uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad's uh, best-selling book. So we were able to, to listen to him live. And on that picture, Unleash the Power Within You is uh, Tony Robbins, a seminar also in Singapore. I think that was two years ago when we attended this uh, 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 seminar because our, our working philosophy is we cannot share what you do not have. So our, we have a lot of employees and we want them also to grow. Uh, we see to it that we echo all the learnings and uh, we share with them all the, the, the emerging practices, best practices right now in, in the market. And of course, uh, um, giving them the best advices they could get from, from, their, from, from their boss like us. Okay. Okay. In this photo, this is one of the IFA's conferences, uh, which was held in Orlando, Florida. My wife, AJ, received her CFA, CFA pin and graduation rights here. We were able to shake the hands of the founders of Fitness First. So do namin siya nakita, si Chuck Ranyon and Dave Mortensen, okay, founders of Fitness First. Uh, during that time, sila talaga yung uh, uh, in demand and uh, with flying colors, no? We had the opportunity to see Simon Sinek also in flesh during one of the master's class uh, session. Kaling siya, she is very powerful speaker. Then locally here in Manila, that's T. Harp Ecker. Uh, we attended the Millionaire Mind Intensive uh, Program seminar here in, in Manila. Okay. Because AJ loves to read the book, The Secrets of a Millionaire Mind. So that's why when it was it was here in Manila, we took the opportunity to to listen uh, to him live. Okay, that's internationally, but locally, we love to to attend uh, Sir Francis Kong talks. So plus Jonathan Yabut, we send our employees to Jonathan Yabut's uh, seminars, and of course, Mr. Josiah Go, the Philippines' most respected and awarded marketing mentor, we had the chance to to sit with in one of his uh, classes. Okay, another milestone will be this photo. These are the photos of uh, some of our franchisees holding the newly launched um, swatches of our sun gel. This is the launching of our very own first organic gel polish in the Philippines called sun gel. And would you believe it's uh, it's really making a lot of waves in terms of sales, at least for our stores. Uh, it's competing with the international brand. And we're so proud because we are the ones who developed, 
who created and developed this uh, Sanjel brand in the Philippines. So hopefully we can develop more brands in the in the coming days. Okay, Batang NDG. In this photo, uh, well, these are the photos of us together with our employees for their free jobs of vaccines. No, this is under the Dose of Hope program of Go Negosyo and uh, Philippine Franchise Association. This is the best time and the best way to show your love and care for our employees. Um, uh, times are really tough and the budget is really limited, but uh, it's a decision for us to really prioritize their vaccination program because they are our frontliners and we don't want to put their health on risk. Okay, this photo is nothing to do with uh, NACE.glow. You know, RK, we are devoted business owners during our corporate time. But on the side, we are privileged enough to get the respect of other brands. We are once an endorser of a food supplement. Uh, thank you because they perceive us to be a credible endorsers as well of their brand. Okay, we used to uh, endorse MX3. That's the brand, MX3. So we're still using this brand even up until now. And icebreaker, you see that Captain America and uh, uh, Spider Man, they were doing their hand spa and uh, probably foot spa in our stores before the pandemic. This was taken before the pandemic. And uh, these superheroes used to hang out in our salons. But you know what? Our realization now is our superheroes are, are these people, are our staff. We found out and realized that. Uh, during this pandemic, the true heroes are our frontliners. They are our heroes without the capes. Uh, they are still willing to, to provide the services despite the strict healthcare protocols and uh, willing to go to work and uh, despite the risk of uh, getting contaminated. But God is so good because we have no reported yet so far of extreme cases of COVID. Uh, uh, incidents in our stores and even with our employees. So we thank God for that. Okay, I think that's about it for for my milestone photos. And uh, maybe some of you would be asking, Afridi, what's your leadership style? Oh, how do you circumvent uh, your 12 years? Uh, you you almost you are now in the middle of the pandemic. So how do you navigate your business, your needs that low? So, uh, in that uh, 12 long period of uh, operating a business, we learned these four Ds of management. We followed this and uh, it created a great impact, not just on the business, but on our personal uh, uh, wellness as well. Okay? And we call it the four Ds of management. Number one is doing. Number two is designing. Number three is deciding. And uh, number four is delegating. The success and failure of every uh, business is anchored in leadership. In the span of 12 years, I learned to embrace the 40s. And I call it sometimes the season, the seasons of change, the four seasons of change. If after 12 years, the founder presence is still the ultimate factor of success, then you might have a problem. A learning organization must be able to thrive without the physical presence of the owners. And to help you not fall on the trap, let me share with you these four things one by one. Let, let me expl explain this one by one. Okay, what's doing for D? Doing. Actually, um, this is the productivity season. This is the initial part where you are the HR of your company, of your business, you're the payroll staff, you're the purchaser, you're the receptionist, and at the same time, you're the janitor. That's the, the doing stage. Almost, almost all startups pass on this stage. It's part of the learning curve. And uh, uh, this is the, I call it the summer season, because in summer season, you have the ample time to, to explore, okay? To do all, to do what you want, work more, okay? So this is the summer season. We're done with this stage. Uh, during the first two or three stages, we are on this on this stage, the doing stage. 
So thank God because we already surpassed that stage where the um, uh, we're after 12 years we are on the last uh, last uh, stage of the management. Okay. Next D. Uh, it's called designing. So what's designing? You're starting to formulate your company system and procedure. So dito unti-unti nagpo-formulate na po kami ng mga systems and procedures. Sometimes if we can, if you're not expert on this, we hire somebody to do it for us. Okay? This is a period of manpower acquisition. Dito rin kami kumukuha na ng tao because we felt or we feel na hindi na namin ka, we cannot spread ourselves too thinly. So we need uh, extra hands and extra feet and extra mind to, to do the things for us. And then this is also the period of uh, partnership period of partnership with uh, credible suppliers and uh, this is also the best plan to the, the best stage to if you plan to scale up for franchising this is the best stage, the designing stage okay um, you are you tend to wear your coach hat dahil marami na po kayong uh, empleyado ngayon na papasok to your, to your company, you wear the coach hat and uh, kung kanina, summer season, this time naman, this is the autumn season because uh, your company color begins to change. So parang yung mga leaves, di ba, during the autumn and fall, or fall, they're starting to, to change their color. So that's the second D. Good thing, tapos na rin po kami dyan. We're done with that. In the, after three years, on our fourth and fifth year, we're, we're on, the, on the designing mode. So good thing, tapos na po kami dyan. Okay. The third D. Are you interested to know the third D? I'm sure. So it's all about designing or deciding. Okay. In this uh, stage, organizational chart is starting to be developed. Kung dati, parang straight line lang organizational chart ninyo. Ngayon, medyo nag-expand na siya. And makikita nyo, mas marami ng assignment of roles na lumalabas. You allocate your resources based on your strategic priority. So this time, nakikita nyo, may... Uh, there's uh, uh, flow, um, meron na rin ng float income, so you manage your resources properly according to your strategic priorities. And uh, this is also the best time to establish your KRA and KPIs for people. So kanina, you hire them. So this time, you you prepare them, you equip them, give them KPIs and KRAs as, as metrics for their, for their uh, performances. Okay? And I call this the spring season. Spring season. Kasi talagang may mga sisibol na, di ba? May mga sisibol ng new personalities, may sisibol na ng mga new, new rules, emerging uh, updates. So, this is the deciding stage. That's number three. And what's my number four? Na-experience namin to. This would be my last D, which is delegating. Sarap ng stage nito because you have got to enjoy uh, you're now seeing as a founder you're not you're now seeing the forest not just the trees so it's time to slowly relinquish control and decision making chores of the owner so kung dati lahat ikaw nagdi-decide kung may 10 kang branch kung may 20 kang branch you do all the decision making but now it's you're slowly relinquishing to your to your decision makers to your managers and then you're starting to gear up for an autopilot navigation of the business and uh, slowly, kami dito, kamag asawa although we are remotely managing the that law in Quezon City, we're now here in Tanay Rizal uh, because we know that uh, we can run it autopilot. We have good uh, managers who can do the decision. Sometimes, mas better pang high decision nila kesa sa amin. Eh. So that's how we entrust, how we trust our people. And then on this uh, season also, honors to more brand value building. So, hindi na masyadong operational, tactical, but more on brand value building. Okay, being there in the, in the organization, involve yourself in organization, and other social civic duties. Pwede mo na itong gawin before you don't have the time because you're con concentrated much on the doing aspect, the doing part. But now, you delegate this. Okay, this time, the execution of strategies. It's the winter season. I call it winter season because the owners will now start to hibernate. Hibernate from being there. They're, they're physically there in the office, but no, not, no, not anymore because uh, he knows, they know that they have uh, qualified, competent people to do the, the task for us and uh, make Nails.Glow the number one Nails in the country. 
Okay? On the part of the owner is the workless mode. Okay, so that's the four Ds. Uh, I hope uh, you learned something from that stages of management. Because based on our experience, that's the effective uh, 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 way on how we can you know, balance our time, you know, balance our, our time as entrepreneurs, as uh, parents, you know, as, uh, as a citizen of this country. And of course, our, our relationship with my children, with my, 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 my wife. So we have to consider that. And of course, our relationship with God. We should have time to, for Him as well because we're not uh, getting any younger. So those are the stages that I want to share with you. And this time, lastly, I want to share with you probably our leadership qualities that, uh, that were effective. Na nakita namin that really bring us brought us to where we are now. Some of our leaders, at least three of our uh, effective uh, leadership hacks, if I may call it that way. No? Number one is have the humility to accept that you don't know everything. Have the humility to accept that you don't know everything. Okay? Don't let pride and ego trick you to believe that you are already accomplished. That's the downfall of every business one. When they think that what you know now is enough. So that's why, uh, I mean, in our, in our, in our little uh, company, you know, we see to it now, we, we seek advice from experts uh, like RK. He's expert in the franchising industry. We have the humility to ask him uh, uh, pertinent, relevant and pertinent questions regarding the franchise. And if it's legal, we ask uh, the lawyers. If it's uh, something uh, medical in nature, we have our uh, in-house uh, healthcare professionals to assist that to assist us in that aspect. No? Um, when we wake up in the morning, we always imagine we're holding a cup, an empty cup that we need to fill each day. So this is the reason why we observe this principle. Number one. We strive to be a better version of ourselves, better version of ourselves, and um, we we read books, we attend seminars, okay, we attend postgraduate courses if necessary. Uh, uh, be an expert in your field, in other words, and then we also hire people. W one tip: hire people, employees, employees who are better than you. Okay, in the office there are we are mixture of experience and. Uh, 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 seniors and uh, sophomores and juniors, uh, uh, there are millennials there, so everybody can contribute. Okay, their 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 ideas and their experiences to the for the growth of the company. Okay, and uh, get a mentor. People who are living the life you are only wishing and praying to be. Those are the kind of people you want to be a mentor. So yung Yung wini wish mo lang maging, they have it na sila na yon. So they're enjoying that, uh, that moment. No? And um, people who are also humble enough to share their success stories to you. So in our case, uh, we're trying to build our own sort of masterminds. If you hear, if you hear that uh, word already, no? Uh, there's a, we have a coach when it comes to franchising. Let's say, for example, RK, we have a coach related to health. We have a business coach, uh, Mr. Raymond Lim, Singaporean. We have a health coach. So, so we're trying to build a, a mastermind where we can, because we can get their 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 brains out, no, in the times that we need them. Because you know, we won't we won't um, pretend that we are good in everything. Not because we were able to run this business for 12 years would mean that we are really good in all aspects of aspects of our lives. So we are really. Uh, 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 work uh, for under uh, construction. Okay, so uh, we're still improving and we're getting better each day. Okay, that's number one. Have humility. Number two, leadership hack. As a uh, founder of the business, we learned that we realized that we have to nurture relationship over profits. It must. It might sound cliche, but really, that's it's it's one of the secret uh, sauce. Uh, this is what we learn. If 
cultivate good relationships. Instead of thinking of better ways to earn, you think of better ways to help others. And that's why our company's mission and vision statements are all pointing on how we can help. It's not pointing on how they can, how can they help us, but how can we help them for the franchisees on how we can provide them with the fast return of investment. That's in our vision and mission statement. For our customers, on how we can provide them with the best healthcare experience. That's our mission and vision for them. And for our employees, on how we can provide them with the most decent lifestyle and other opportunities. So we're included in our, in our mission and vision statements. So nature relationships first, over profits, then profits will follow. And lastly, my third, don't be, a, don't be a, afraid to fail. The greatest glory in living lies not in, ne in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. That's Ralph uh, Waldo Emerson. Uh, success, I believe, comes to the one who dares, even after failure, to think positively and look forward confidently. Um, kami sa Nesdaglo, we, we, we wear failure as a badge of honor. So hindi, it's not a demerit on your part if you encounter failure because we know uh, that someday we learn from it and uh, this will be helpful in uh, making our next uh, best decisions for the company. If you haven't failed, you haven't pushed yourself far enough. So welcome po sa amin na magkamali for as long as you will not commit the same mistakes over and over and over again. Okay, okay. those are the three leadership uh, hacks that I can share with you. And the last thing on my slide is that a formal invitation. RK? RK? Are you still there? Definitely. Yeah. Okay. My last uh, slide is all about a formal invitation of our 2021 virtual franchise conference, which will happen tomorrow, September 10 at 1 p.m. Of course, I have you as one, one of our keynote speakers, okay, Mr. Rudolf Art, uh, uh, Kotick. Then uh, we also have uh, our master, master franchisee in uh, Kingdom of uh, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. She's Miss Kolud Al Gamdi, and of course we will be uh, incorporating some incorporating some uh, uh, lecture on the, uh, how to build a um, purpose-driven organization uh, by coach, a life coach or a business coach, uh, Randy Esguera, and of course my wife AJ and me will be there. So RK, I hope you can be there tomorrow. Definitely, I'll be with you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, that's it. I think that's all about it. Uh, I hope you learned a thing or two in my presentation. And uh, as I've said to RK, this will be my uh, my penultimate presentation because tomorrow will be my, the final blow, the final one, because I'm doing the strategic agenda for the company of Nestat Law. Because we're ready. We are ready for, for what will happen in the future. All right, and it seems uh, Ferry, uh, your whole your whole family is is uh, watching us <laughs> because uh, you got greetings from Ophelia, from William wow. Gabriel, from Rachel, from Lynn Lee Singopen, Nathan Ho, Shaila, Jean Kunaman, Amy Mercado. So all of them uh, greetings to you for twelfth anniversary. Wow. So, uh, before we proceed, we let's show uh, uh, a video we have also about Neil Sutklow. All right? Okay. I put it to the stream. The COVID-19 crisis certainly feels unprecedented, and in most ways, it is. Never has the world faced a health crisis that has moved so quickly across countries, overwhelming the health care systems and putting entire economy on standstill. But no matter what the challenges, there has been a light at the end of the tunnel and rich lessons to be learned. Nails.glow in recent months has gone from strength to strength. Believing that in the 
midst of every crisis lies a great opportunity by learning the right lessons from the pandemic and DG turns the COVID-19 disruption to their advantage through the right method and resilience building on its 12th year anniversary celebration. Nails.glow is rising up for the need of greater empathy and adaptability by creating a workplace that can unleash the full potential of their people. Rise above at 12. Rise above at 12. Rise above at 12. Rise above at 12. Rise above at twelve. Rise above at twelve. Rise above at twelve. Even in the midst of crisis, it to embrace the new normal by introducing new and more human-centric approach that truly put technology and people at the heart of organizational success. This year's theme, Rise Above at 12, From the New Normal to a New Future, aims to highlight the company's commitment to its vision in becoming the healthiest and safest self-care destination in the country today. Rise above at 12! Rise above at 12! Rise above at 12! Excellent video from Nils.glow. And uh, before we end the day, I still have to give you some additional information. Uh, if you look at the screen, we have uh, today Mr. Ferio Pena's guest. Uh, I'm very thankful to be part of that 12th anniversary. If you're interested to learn more about franchising and you want to read my book, all about franchising, you can request for a free copy and we email you the PDF file for that. Nails at Glow and 800 other companies have been developed by Archie Franchise Consultancy. So if you have a business and you want to franchise it out, then please get in touch with us. We prepare everything what you need to be a professional franchiser, from structuring the franchise to the manuals, the legal aspect, the marketing aspect, everything what you need to be a professional franchise. Or, or if you go into the distribution business, we have GoFran who does the development for distributorships. And of course, all our clients are member of FIFA Filipino International Franchise Association uh, and uh, can have all the advantages of being a member of the association. Uh, please read also our magazine, uh, monthly about franchising, franchising.ph. Uh, this month we are featuring uh, chicken franchises. So uh, a few months, I think a year ago, we also featured nails.glow. And if you want to hear or view the previous sessions of the Franchise Hour, please go to uh, YouTube. We have an Archie Franchise channel there. And you can view all the previous uh, sessions of the Franchise Hour, including also the first session we had with Mr. Ferdi Opina. And of course, tomorrow is the virtual Franchise Conference of Neil that Glow. And again, thank you for having me invited to be guest there. 
And then next Thursday, we have Mr. Randy Daumar as guest from Davao City. He owns a pest control company, which we developed into a franchise by the name Go Forward Pest Control. So he will be our guest for uh, next week. All right. So for this week, uh, we are at the end of the franchise hour. I would like to thank my guest, uh, Ferio Pena. And again, congratulations to you for making it uh, through 12 years. And um, up to the off to the next 12 years. And uh, to my viewers, I would like to thank you. And I see you again next Thursday for our next franchise hours. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.